All right, so I just wanted to demonstrate the uh, pentatonic um, scale patterns uh, exercise that's posted um, along with this video. So it basically, you know, we've been playing around with the, the different positions of uh, G major or E minor pentatonic, depending on how you want to think of it. Um, and we were improvising using a couple strings, trying to connect those pentatonic shapes. Um, and, and I mentioned this before that, you know, pentatonic, you know, because it's limited to five notes, um, musicians often have to be creative with how they um, cascade the notes or how they connect the notes to give the scale a little bit more length um, because it has fewer notes. And so one thing we like to do is we, we create these patterns of, 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 of notes that sort of repeat on themselves. And so this is this exercise is just a four note repeating pattern. So and basically I've written it out as a descending pattern and again this exercise is just for the sake of planting a seed you know you can do a lot more with this um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate some of that at the end of the video um, but basically as the exercise is written it starts in uh, this open position uh, G major or E minor uh, pentatonic scale but I'm only going to use the first three strings on all these patterns and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle up through each position, each shape of the pentatonic scale using a four note. That's the four note pattern and then um, I start on the next note down in the scale and continue that four note pattern. So it sounds like this. So that's how the pattern goes but I'm going to do that in each position starting on the outer note of each uh, position. So here's what the exercise sounds like um, slowly. So that's what I wrote out, and so um, and that's slow. But you know, if you start to speed that up, it starts to have a little. Uh, it starts to sound like we're doing something here. See what I'm saying? Um, in terms of fingering, <laughs> kind of whatever is comfortable. There has to. Um, to make this work, so kind of using what, what seems comfortable for you. Um, it's written out in tablature and in standard notation. So how could you use this? Well, that idea of... I'm sort of playing the, the scale, but I'm combining those elements of... You know, those kind of things like that, which can really um, just give you more options and expand the sound of your pentatonic scale. All right, good luck with that exercise.